uh, you know, it's a smaller market here in Taiwan. Well, we're sports. a smaller country. We're a small country. <laughs> that's right. Um, and I think you know, I think government uh, can can uh, play a bigger role in trying to uh, number one promote the sports, but I think more importantly is is promote the athletes mm -hmm. who are playing the sports. Yeah. And I think that um, what happens now is this, you know, in my uh, observation is a lot of people don't want to go that route because of what we said. You know, maybe the transition is not as smooth. Um, they probably don't get as much assistance from the government as they they should. Right. Well, and maybe because that's because the government wants to project a certain kind of image of Taiwan to yeah. to the world, not not so much in the sports. Maybe. 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 <laughs> um, but I, I think it's also the athlete themselves. You know, they really? make it. Yeah, you can make the best out of it. You can be a. You can get in athletics and learn a lot from that and transition over if you have the right. Uh, mentality if you have the right goals that you're setting mm -hmm. um, and I think you know I think it's still it's really back to the individual maybe you were more um, mature than most kids at your age at the time mm -hmm. in high school that is because my son he just loves play basketball and um, he he just wants to play basketball and he thinks he's good at it but um, you think that at his age right now which is you know, what 15 mm -hmm. 16 um, I don't think he really knows I mean he would think about what he's going to do in the future. He doesn't think that much ahead, mm -hmm. not like you. I mean, how would you help kids at that age to think ahead of themselves? Well, let's go back to your original question. Um, your son at 15 loves to play sports, loves yeah. basketball, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think from sports, he's going to learn a lot of things that maybe a non-athlete um, would not be exposed to. Number one is if he wants to get good at it, which I know that he does, there's a lot of discipline and a lot of hard work associated with that. Okay, so there's dedication, there's discipline. Um, playing a team sport like basketball, he's going to be exposed to teamwork. Yeah. Okay, so these are all the qualities that he's exposed to from a very young age. Now, fast forward to that, let's say 10 years when he's 25 and he's in the workforce. We're talking about discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, discipline in the workforce is the same as on sports or in sports. He's going to have to deal with uh, fellow employees. He's going to be doing projects. That's teamwork. Mm -hmm. So you can see how there's parallels between being an athlete playing basketball and being a worker or an employee of a company. There's a lot of parallels and the qualities. So we talked about that last time is that I like to use athletes and, at Costco here. Yeah. And the reason why is I see those qualities in these people who have been involved in sports. Uh, you know, in Chinese, nai yong. You know, they're good workers mm -hmm. because they have discipline. It's hard to get up early in the morning to go practice. Right. Okay? But they do it. Yeah. It's hard to get up early to go to work, but they do it. Uh -huh. You see the parallel there? Yeah. They work hard. Hey, sometimes you have to work with people. You may not like them, but you have to work with them in order to get the job done. Same with sports. You have teammates. You may not like them, but they're your teammates. And if you want to win, you have to play as a team. So there's a lot of parallels there. Mm. So I think you know, to answer your question, I think it's good to let him play sports. And, yeah. and, and to learn all those all the positive qualities of sports. And then from there, maybe you could say, well, look what you've learned in sports. And you can use that at school when you're dealing with your fellow students on a project. Or when there's discipline, you have to get your homework done. Mm. Think about that as practice. You've got to do that. See, that's the thing. So the message we should get out to the parents is that it's okay for your kids to play sports, yes. right? I mean, Taiwanese parents always tend to focus on grades, but it's okay for kids to play sports. But then on the other hand, like my son, you know, he's not so good in school, but I think he's a smart kid, mm -hmm. but he just loves to play basketball. And he's going like, why can't I spend more time in basketball? Well. The thing is that, unfortunately, and I don't know if it's God's will or whatever, that um, he got into high school, he just started his freshman year, but there's no basketball team in that school. Mm. So he's kind of disappointed. Um, and, and, but the thing is, I'm telling him, you're a student now, okay? That's your status. And I think you should do your best in school because you are a student now. But how, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's not that I want to take away ba basketball sure. from him. I don't know how to tell him where the, where the balance is because he's, he, I don't know, he just gets really, you know, feisty about mm -hmm. not being able to spend more time in basketball when 
you know, I'm in, at, you know, and also the school mm -hmm. is far from home. Yes. So it takes about what probably three hour mm -hmm. commute each way mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, so then I'm telling him you need to go to bed early and that kind of stuff. But you know, it's yeah, it's a it, it's a frustration. <laughs> a I, I don't know. I, I love my son, but yeah, you know, I, I don't know what is what I, how I, think, I should say. Uh, you know, my advice to you is to let him enjoy basketball. Yeah. Um, as much as he can, um, and also to of course school is very important um, and maybe there's a um, an equilibrium between the two a balance between the two where maybe some of his studying can involve studying basketball studying the mechanics behind sports studying okay. the business of sports uh -huh. um, maybe that's that maybe that's his calling you know a lot of I told I told my son who's 18 years old he's applying for college this year I said you don't have to if you like basketball that's great but you know what and basketball can be a career for you, not as a player, but maybe as a manager, maybe as a sports agent, maybe uh, working for some of the brands. If you like sports, if you like basketball, what about working for Nike or Adidas? There's a lot of things. I love my job because I love the people I deal with. Mm. Um, you know, I wake up and I want to go to work and I want to get the, the, the you know, get my, my job done, that type of thing. But, and I, tell, I said to my son, I said, listen, if you got up every morning and you were going to the stadium, not because you're gonna practice, but you're gonna be working for the Lakers as in the, in the back office, if you're working for them for marketing or finance or, hey, that's great because you're still close to what you love, but you have a career on it. Now, mm -hmm. if I say to your son, keep on playing basketball because you're gonna be a player, I would be giving him bad advice. Mm -hmm. But if you love sports, you know, maybe one day you can work for a pro team. You can work for a brand name. You can work for an organization that is dealing with athletes and dealing with sports. Mm. There is a whole world behind the scenes of professional sports, of professional basketball, of the NBA. There's a company, the NBA is a company. And yeah. inside there's the commissioner, David Stern, and all the people that work to make this brand. Maybe that's the way to get him to have still not drop basketball 100%, but get them excited about, hey, the workings behind basketball, the workings behind sports. And that could be the goal of him moving him forward to concentrating on schoolwork because that is the means to an end. You still have to get good grades so one day you can work for the Lakers or for the <laughs> Bulls or for the, for, the, for the Knicks. Yeah. That type of thing. So I, I think, it, you know, for you to say stop playing basketball, that's tough. Yeah. But to maybe kind of say, listen, you know, basketball is good, but hey, part of this is also, you know, a, a goal for him to, to work towards something. Yeah. And that might be a way to inspire him. And I think uh, the more he plays, I think, you know, there's a lot of leadership qualities that come out from playing in, in, in sports. Yeah. You know, you've got to be a leader out there on the team, on the, you know, be a team captain. It's the same when you work in the workforce. You've got to be a leader. A lot of employers um, look for people who have potential leadership qualities. Yeah. Oh, I think my son has that yeah. for sure. Yeah.